Lords, ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening and welcome along to the home of legends here at Wembley Arena for tonight's World Championship Boxing, proudly presented by United Kingdom Presents in association with A-Force and sponsored here by Kanta Index and MGM DVD Rocky Collection. All the officials have been appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control here present with us at ringside. Our steward in charge of the action is Dr. Ozzy Ross. Area representative is Robert Smith. The General Secretary of the British Boxing Board of Control, Mr. Simon Block. Inspectors Mick Collier, Bob Galloway and Billy Ball. And our three doctors here at ringside, Dr. White, Dr. Utah and Dr. Patel. For the thousands in attendance here live and the millions of viewers joining us here on BBC Sport, this is international heavyweight action. Introducing to you, he's fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing the black trunks and weighed in at 16 stone. Bringing an 18 fight record, eight wins, four inside the scheduled distance, nine losses and one no contact. He's from Florida, USA. Please welcome Michael Middleton. And now, ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the red corner. He's wearing the white trunks, trimmed with red and weighed in at 18 stone, eight pounds. He comes to the ring as the two-time ABA champion. He is the Commonwealth gold medalist and holds coveted gold medal for the Olympics. He is the one, the only, able, only, person. Take in the bell is Bob Edgeworth of Bromley and our referee in charge of the action and one of the leading referees in the world from Edmonton is Dave Parrott. Ladies and gentlemen, BBC Sports fans, this is six rounds of boxing. International heavyweight. I spoke to you both in the first minute, boys. Break when I tell you to. Defend yourself at all times. Shake hands, boys. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck well, final words from one of the most experienced referees in the business. This is scheduled for six three-minute rounds. Marvin Hagler, can you ever remember any novice professional making an entrance like that? No, but I, I remember when I fought here in uh, Wembley 21 years ago, when the lights went out, and uh, when uh, at the first, I mean, when Alimenta came out, it was a scary type of feeling. This is the right thing that I think that Villadin is doing, is going out there and get the butterflies right, right out the way. A good solid left hand from the Olympic champion. All that is past the head. Guard is off, the vest is off, the big gloves are gone. This is the real business. And everything that he achieved as an amateur, he'll have to put behind him. And what a good left hand that was. Middleton has taken a couple of good solid shots from the man to whom he's conceding over two and a half stones in weight, three or four inches in reach. Well, you know, it's going to be a big difference here seeing him fight professional and not as an amateur. And sometimes you carry your amateur status. And now you can take your time a little bit more and put your punches together better as a professional. Well, he's got him for the third time with a left and a fourth. And this may not go past the opening minute. Middleton has taken a couple of hard shots. Well, you can only beat what's put in front of you. Middleton is in front of him, and Harrison is going about it the right way. Exactly. You know, we don't need no more uh, big upsets here, do we? But uh, uh, Millington is just like uh, Leon Spinks, like I said, he's got nothing to lose, he got no money. This is a great opportunity for him. Can you imagine? We don't need another upset here tonight. <laughs> and as you said to me not too long ago, that if a man is on the canvas, he can't hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Harrison has started in splendid style, good variation. He's got him again with that left. That's left number six. Middleton, well, a decent club fighter, a decent journeyman, as we would say in this part of the world, has felt the power of a man who is two and a half stones heavier and is so determined. Harrison needs this win. He'll take it whatever way he can get it. Middleton, no doubt, will take the money no matter how it comes. Dave Paris has taken Middleton back across to his corner. Jim McLaughlin is in there. I think the uh, gum shield just came out. Middleton will be glad of a little breather. 
Well, you can see, I can see that uh, Harrison is concentrating just on the jab. Right hand, hook, nice left hook to the body. Well, he's towering over, he really is towering over his opponent, and that left hand has been a terrific force. That's the hand he hurt in Sydney, and he boxed all the way through the quarter and the semi-final, and at one stage, had he failed a medical, he wouldn't have been allowed to box in the final, but he came through, he won the gold, Britain's first for 32 years, and he started again. Middleton is wobbling. Well, you know what uh, Middleton is doing, he's backing up so that Archie really can't catch him with a good, solid shot. Oh, he's got him with the ribs and he's got him with the left. Middleton's in all sorts of trouble. It's all over in the first. It looks like job done. You can find it's gone to six, it's gone to seven, it's gone to eight. Middleton's got up and Dave Paris has looked at him and said, don't be silly. Middleton's saying, I can go on. Dave Paris knows his business better than anyone. And Audley Harrison has started his professional business, perhaps not better than anyone might have said, but as well as we can be expected. He's very dis disappointed, Harrison. He wanted to show the crowd his hometown, the homecoming, and he didn't really get that opportunity. Uh, for me, Millington, myself, was just looking for a place to lay down. As I said, you know, just getting in the ring, that, that first fight, it's, uh, it's extraordinary. Well, Middleton came out and he did what we thought he would do a little bit longer. He threw a, a decent right hand, which Harrison may have been susceptible to, but after that, there was, it was one-way traffic, Marvin. Oh, I'm really surprised that he showed up. <laughs> <laughs> What a terrific performance by Harrison, irrespective of the opponent. And obviously people will say, well, Middleton wasn't up to the job. And of course he wasn't, but Harrison was up to the job. What a terrific finish that was. A series of stunning left hands. And then he moved into the body with the right. And that was it all over. Harrison, I think, will be hugely disappointed that Middleton didn't put up more of a contest. But here's how it finished. Well, you know, this is what I was saying. Middleton was trying to go backwards to take the pressure off of those straight right hand shots. But the shot to me didn't, I didn't see a real clean shot there, a good right hand the way that I was expecting. You know, just to Well, go. there's the ref cam, Middleton protesting that he's fit to continue. The eyes are glazed, the nose is bloody, the spirit has been broken, and only Harrison, cool as the proverbial cucumber, has put the glasses back on. Thel Torrance and Kenny Croom will be pleased with that. They might have liked two or three more rounds, but I'll tell you something, Marvin Hager, we'll see more rounds oh, from yeah. Audley Harrison, but I don't think we'll ever see Mike Middleton here again. Well, I think you've got to bring in better opponents now. That's what we need now for Harrison, to get him better condition, get him more sharper, and get him prepared for that uh, world championship fight, the like, same way like with Lennox Lewis. Well, I think it's a question, as far as Harrison was concerned, of job done towering over his opponent, the accuracy of that shot, the southpaw right, followed by the left, Middleton really in no position to defend himself, and that solid, solid right, followed by another to the body, and a little clipping left hand really finished it off, Middleton completely defensive, a gallant swing, but that was simply a reflex reaction, Dave Paris did the right thing, Audley Harrison has won this in terrific style, a mediocre opponent back up in his corner, nowhere to go, Dave Paris had a good, long, long look, and there was only one outcome, and that was going to be a first-round win for Audley Harrison. Marvin. Uh, Jim, I can just tell you something. This guy's going to be a big threat in the heavyweight division. I mean, he's got good height, good hand speed. I watched him in the amateurs, but you wait till he uh, materializes and improves. Oh, nobody's going to want to fight this guy. He's probably going to have trouble get fight, fighting the fights. Well, there he is, the man who has won his professional debut in considerable style, posing for the photographers. We'll have to read what the press verdict on this is going to be, but without a single shadow of a doubt, Audley Harrison, Olympic champion, is Audley Harrison, professional boxer, and he's come over to ringside to shake the hands of one of his great heroes, one of the all-time greats, and how far can Audley Harrison go? In the meantime, we'll go back to John McDonald for the verdict. Ladies and gentlemen, timekeeper Bob Edwards has recorded a time of 2 minutes 45 seconds of the first round. Referee Dave Paris has stopped the contest. Middleton in no position to continue. Your winner on his professional debut, Uthor Audley Harris. And let's show your appreciation for our visitor from Florida, USA, Michael Middleton.
Well, only Harrison, absolutely delighted to have won his first contest. And he has shaken the hand of marvellous Marvin Hagler. Lennox Lewis, no doubt, will make up with him a little later on in the evening. Denise Lewis, his fellow Olympian from Sydney and fellow gold medal winner. And Audley Harrison is ready for his first professional interview. And needless to say, he's going to be joined at ringside by Gary Richardson. Many congratulations. What's your reaction? Yeah, yeah, I'm just uh, glad to get in there. That's my, you know, obviously my first contest. Uh, felt good. I felt good. I wish there was more of it, you know, I was, uh, I was doing what my corner wanted me to do, you know, popping a jab. When he came in, there was no success there. You know, the body shots around the outside were working. All over, Quite happy. All over and around, what can you possibly have learned? Oh, I learned a lot. You know, this is a big occasion for boxing. This is a big occasion for the BBC. It's a big occasion for myself. And it takes, uh, you know, a lot of mental fortitude to go in there and focus on the task at hand. There's been distractions this week. But I've shown I'm able to focus on what I have to do. Uh, and there's a lot there's a lot of learn. It's my professional debut. I've gone in there. I've performed to my potential and I've got a first round KO So lots of takeaways still lots to learn long way to go, but so far so good Yeah, now I'll ask you about the distractions in just a moment But let me ask you about the opponent. Yeah, it was a good win for you But you were on a bit of a hiding to nothing There's a lot lot of people probably right in the press that you fought a no-hoper well, what, what the press have got to realise, and, and I know boxing fans throughout the country realise, that Audley Harrison is an Olympic champion, but that, that is as an amateur. Now I'm turning professional, I'm right at the bottom of the scale, and I need to learn. And the only way I'm going to learn, obviously if I fight the best of the best straight away, I'm going to be out of my depth. You know, Manchester United tried to win the European Championships four or five times before they actually got there. So it's going to take time, and uh, they need to be patient with me, which I know they are, and the British press need to be patient. Uh, I'm topping the bill, it doesn't matter. If I was boxing in a small York Hall, I'd have still been criticised for the opponent. But the bottom line is, we're going to roll on. We're in control of our destiny. And, uh, you know, like I said, in the a, in a overall scheme of things, Mike Middleton's not important. It's a win. We move on to the next phase. OK, let me ask you about the distractions beforehand. Now, he almost refused to come out. Lawyers were talking and arguing about his yeah, purse. That was, that was never the case. He was always coming out. He, well, was, signed, he was always coming well, out, as far that, as I was aware. Yeah, well, I was actually standing outside the dressing room door. And let me tell you what I saw. The lawyers were saying that he possibly wouldn't come out. Okay. Now, was that getting through to you? No, I mean, you know, the team around me, they've kept it from me. Uh, you know, but it's like I've just been focusing on what I had to do, it, which is in the ring. Mm, and out. The bottom line is, Mike Middleton was always going to fight. Yeah, yeah, there's, been, there's been a dispute, but that's the way of life, Gary. We have disputes, but we resolve them in a nice, oh. amicable manner. Mm. Uh, w will, it, will it be amicable? Because well, he's over now. He's coming to the ring. Obviously, if he's got into the ring, he's flown over here and he's just fought me. Uh, obviously, it's been resolved, yeah. or it will be resolved. Uh, uh, will, will be is possibly the key word, because he says that you owe him 21% of the television fee. Now, are you going to pay that? Well, really, that's, that's not to discuss here and now. That's not something to discuss now. What's important is I've had a victory. All the fans who have turned up for me, sure. I want to say thank you to all the fans who've turned up. It's been a great occasion for me, for sure. sport, for BBC, and that's the important thing to focus on. The other things, what you want to discuss, we'll save them for a rainy day. Yeah, I, I appreciate, and I don't want to sort of sour a big sure. night for you, but what went on with him and the person and everything, mm. what, what wasn't really great for you, was it? I know it's been a good, a good night, but it wasn't great for you. No, I mean, at the end of the day, Gary, what you've got to realise is, is when two people do an interaction, there is always sometimes, I mean, when, have, you ever, have you ever been in a situation where you've always been happy about what someone's offering you? So that situation always arises. And what's, we're professional people, and we do it in a professional manner, which is why Mike Middleton came into the ring tonight. All right, good performance, well done. Thank you.